Burger King caught fire this week. We also have two local state wrestling champions, and Orschlands is closing its doors. I'm Jordan Davis with The Voice of Muscatine, and this is what's happened in Muscatine this week. We'd like to start off this week's video on a positive note, so congratulations go out to Bryce Esmoy of the West Liberty High School wrestling team and Trey Brisker of the Wilton High School wrestling team, who are both state champions. Bryce Esmoy won back-to-back -back state titles and finished undefeated this year with 88 straight wins. Bryce Esmoy is the Class 2A state champion this year, and Trey Brisker is the Class 1A state champion this year as well. Bryce is a senior at West Liberty High School and is planning to wrestle for the UNI Panthers. As for Trey, he is planning on wrestling for the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Great job, you two. Keep up the good work. And now here's Alex Hughes with the rest of this week's news. On Monday night at approximately 7.44 p.m., the Muscatine Joint Communications Center received a 911 call about a fire on the roof of Burger King on Park Avenue in Muscatine. Firefighters from Muscatine and Fruitland were on the scene and initiated a fire attack and knocked down the main body of the fire within a few minutes. Flames and smoke were found coming out of the rear of the roof and more specifically, the vent of the kitchen hood. Thankfully, no one was injured during the fire. The estimated loss is around $25,000. Special thanks goes out to Brian Linderman who was at the scene when the fire happened and live streamed what went down to The Voice of Muscatine's Facebook page. To stay up to date with the latest of Muscatine, head over to The Voice of Muscatine Facebook page and give us a like. Moving on to the final topic of the week, Orschland Farm and Home has said they will be closing their store. A family owned business for more than 55 years and located at 1607 Grandview Avenue, they will be closing their store this Sunday. However, they will reopen on Monday, February 26, with their liquidation prices set throughout the store. Even though the Muscatine location is closing down, people can still get all their Orsland supplies in Iowa City and Washington. Let us know in the comments what you think about Orsland closing its doors and what you would like to see go in that building. I'm Alex Hughes with The Voice of Muscatine. Thanks for joining us.